Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to do voice tracking for your internet radio station. This video is a part of the Summer of Sound. Win loads of audio gear and goodies in our awesome audio gear giveaway. Something just like a subscription to Sam Broadcaster Cloud. Head over to mrc.fm slash giveaway right now. That is mrc.fm slash giveaway for your chance to win. So voice tracking, it's possible inside Sam Broadcaster Cloud. If you'd like to sign up for this service, the link will be in the description to this video. Uh, so obviously you've got your radio station, you can put in your music, your jingles, your sound effects, and I've done a tutorial on my channel about this previously. But this time, did you know, not only can you be a live DJ on your station and invite others to broadcast live, but you can also voice track your station to make it sound live around the clock. Pretty cool, huh? So what do you do? Well, once you're logged into Sam Broadcaster Cloud, you click this microphone icon up here, record new voice track. And the first thing you're gonna get is a little pop-up on your browser saying that uh, spatial.com wants to use your microphone. Allow it, obviously. Oh, wow. Now you can see as I'm talking, you're getting a squiggly line, uh, which indicates that it's picking up audio but not the right kind of audio, the audio from my internal microphone. That won't sound very good if I record from that. So drop this down and find your audio interface or your USB microphone. In my case, I'm gonna use the live stream audio. This is exactly the same audio that I'm using to record this video. So you should see, when I tap the mic, you get a nice little um, display there. So it looks really good, it is ready to go. So make sure you do that check, 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 one, two, Everything is working as it should be. So now we can begin recording. And in order to be begin recording, you just click the microphone here in the center to start or stop. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna go back to my old DJ days and do a quick link. Hello, this is MRC.FM. I'm your host, Mike Russell, and we play remixes only here, just the top tracks. And you are really gonna enjoy the next tracks coming up, including Katy Perry. Lady Gaga, and a bit of Take That as well. It's your number one station, mrc.fm. Okay, there is that voice track, and you can see once you've finished there, you get recording one down here. Now, you can give it a title. You can say Mike's Lady Gaga, Katie Perry, and Take That teaser. So then you know exactly uh, what is said in the voice track. And then when you're going back to insert it into your real live playlist later on, uh, you can do that. Okay, so that is now done. That is sorted. Uh, so you have many options here. You can just obviously close this down. Uh, you can do this. This button here is the add to library button. So you definitely want to do that before closing. You can also download this track if you want to keep it on your hard disk. Uh, so for instance, I click save and you see there you go. It's downloaded the mp3 file there of my voice track. So I'm going to add this to library. Boom. Uploading. Complete. Okay, it's as simple as that. And then once that's done, we can close this down and head into the voice tracking directory here of our library. And you will see Mike's Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, and Take That Teaser does indeed appear under the voice tracking category. So there you go, a pretty simple way to record voice tracks into Sam Broadcaster Cloud and automate your radio station with a DJ around the clock. If you want to get more advanced, read the blog post that I'll link to in the notes to this video. You can follow the steps to access their audio editor and edit your voice tracks on the fly so they're nice and tight and fit right in between the songs and the jingles on your station. Let me know how you get on with this feature in the comments to this video.